I have a kind of maths today. We're going to do National 5 maths solving letting inequalities. Full teaching plus all the past paper questions. Let's get started straight away. But first, a word from our sponsors. Clever Maths is sponsored by Lecky, the educational publisher for Scotland. Today, we're going to look at practice workbooks for National 5 and higher maths. These are just £5.59 when you use the discount code clevermaths at lakeyscotland.co.uk and these are excellent because they have lots of questions topic by topic by topic. So as you're working through the year, you can revise and practice any topic you want and make sure you are comfortable with that topic. But also when it gets towards exam season, a practice exam paper right at the end to make sure you're ready for your exams. Just £5.59 when you use the discount code clevermaths. The links are in the description and down below. Welcome back. Just a note that most of these examples are taken from maths.scot, an excellent revision website. So get on that link in the description for that as well. Example one, solve 4x plus 2 is less than 9. So just like solving normal equations, I take away 2 for both sides to start with, leaving that sign as it is. Don't be worried about that. At 7 and 4x. And then I just divide by 4. So I can write that as a fraction. So that sign is not changing. There is a rule where it does change at one point, and the rule is when you divide by a negative, or if you switch your sides. So try and keep it all on the same side, so you don't have to think about that switching. Example 2. 4 is greater than 2x minus 5. So I add 5 to both sides, because I want to isolate with 2x. So that gives me 4 plus 5 is 9, is greater than 2z. Divide by the 2, so 9 over 2 is greater than z. Now, you might think that looks a bit messy to leave it like that. Basically, you'll be fine with that, so I would just leave it like that. But if you prefer, if you're going to write it with the Z on the left-hand side and the 9 over 2 on the right, since you've switched the sides around, you need to say less than, because Z is less than 9 over 2. And we're done there. Okay, example 3. Solve the inequality 10 is less than 7 minus 3x. So, be careful here. I want to isolate the 3x parts. It says minus 3x, so I'll just leave that alone. I've got 7, which is positive, so I'll take away 7 to leave 3 is less than minus 3x. And now I need to divide by minus 3, and here's the rule. If you divide by minus 3, it's a flipper. It flips the sign. If you divide by a minus, it flips the sign. So when you divide by a minus, 3 divided by minus 3 is minus 1. That gives me x, and I flip the sign. So I've got minus 1 is greater than x, or if you prefer to write it with the x on the left, remember, you need to flip it background at the end. That's the other time it flips. So it's a double flipper if you're going to do that. But I would leave it like this and you'd be fine there. Okay, example four. 3a minus 2 is greater than or equal to 4 plus 5a. So first thing I'll usually do is I'll get my a's together. So I've got 3a and 5a. The smallest of them is 3. So I'll take away 3a for both sides to leave minus 2 is greater than or equal to 4 plus for 2a. Now I need to isolate the 2a, so I'll take away 4 for both sides. Minus 2, take away 4. Watch your minuses here. Minus 6. Great, when it goes to 2a. Now I'm not dividing my negative, so I'm not flipping this out. I'm just dividing my 2. So it's minus 6 over 2. Great, when it equal to a. Simplify that. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I can leave it as minus 3 is greater than or equal to a. But as per usual, a lot of you will prefer to write the a on the left. And if you do, you just change it round to less than or equal to minus 3. And we're done there. Okay, example five. Two thirds of x plus four is greater than 10 minus two bracket x minus one. Now, with a question like this, when I start to see brackets, I start to see fractions, I want to eliminate them as quick as possible. So my step with this one would be, it's up to you, you can eliminate the fraction first or the bracket. It's easy to simplify as much as possible, just leaving the two thirds x where it is. So I'll just leave that there. I've got 10 minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Watch your signs here. A minus times a minus is a plus, so it's plus 2. Simplifying that down a little bit, I get greater than 10 plus 2 is 12 minus 2x. And then we can start eliminating that fraction. So we'll now times both sides by the denominator, which is 3. So you can imagine that I'm times everything on this side by 3 and everything on that side by 3. So I'm introducing a bracket there. 3 times 2 thirds is just 2, so that's 2x. 3 times 4 is 12, is greater than 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 times 2 is 6x. So now I get it down to a simpler question. I can get the x's on the same side, so the smallest amount of x's is minus 6, so I'll plus 6x to both sides. So that gives me 2x plus 6x is 8x plus 12 is greater than 36. So take away 12 for both sides. 
8x is greater than 36 becomes 26 becomes 24. And then divide by the 8. 8 freezes 24, so x is greater than 3, and we're done there. Example 6, solve an equation, x plus 2 over 5 is greater than minus 3x over 4. So, with ones where there's fractions on both sides, or more than one denominator, I usually think about times them by the number that 5 and 4 go into. So, 5 and 4 both go into 25 times 4. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to times this side by 20. x plus 2 over 5 is greater than... 20 times minus 3x over 4. Now there is another way you can think of this, and it's like a little trick, which I'm going to show you now by finding my little pointer. You can think of it as this side times that side equals that side times that side, if you prefer. But I'm going to do it this way. 20 divided by 5 is 4, so that's 4x plus 2 is greater than 20 divided by 4 is 5 times minus 3x. So you can kind of see I've done that times that and that times that. That's why it works. 4x plus 8 is greater than minus 15x. So I'll put it on the left, 19x, and we move the 8 to become minus 8. And that means that our final answer is x is greater than minus 8 over 19. And we're done there. Okay, example 7. Solve 3, 3 quarters x minus 5 minus 6 x plus 2 is greater than 7. Oh my gosh, this is quite a big one. But let's look at the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6. So the smallest number that we both go into is actually 12. Now, if you can't see that it's 12, just times them together. You'll get 24, and then you'll just need to simplify. No big deal, okay? But I'm going to use 12. So that means that everything gets times by 12. So I've got 12 times this term by 12, times that term by 12, times that term by 12. So let's just look at it from this point of view. 12 times 3 quarters, if you need to do it at the side, you can do so, but 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9, so that just gives me 9x minus 5. 12 divided by 6 is 2, so that gives me minus 2x plus 2 is greater than 7 times 12 is 84. Now I can expand, 9x minus 45 minus 2x minus 4 is greater than 84. Now I can Collect the terms, 9x and 2x makes 7x, minus 45, minus another 4 is minus 49, and that's greater than 84. Keep on going, add 49 to both sides. 84 becomes 94, 04, 14, 24, 33, 133 then. So x is greater than 133 over 7. Let's see if that simplifies. 7 is a fine number, so I just need to check the 7 going to 133. It actually does x is greater than, well, 7 into 13 goes 1, and that leaves 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6. 7, 9 is 63, x is greater than 19, and we're done there. Example 8, r over 6 is less than or equal to an 8th minus r. So I want the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8. If you don't know, just try 48, but you'll actually find that it was a smaller number than that, it's 24. But you can try 48, and it will still work, you just simplify. So 24, I'm times in that side by 24, and times in the whole of this side by 24. So that's kind of like in brackets, if you'd like. 24 divided by 6. Well, 6, 12, 18, 24 is 4. So the left-hand side just gives me 4r is less than or equal to an eighth of 24. 8 freezes is 24, so that's 3. So that's me times that one, and 8 times this one, so minus 24r. So moving the r's to the same side, add 24r to give me 28r is less than or equal to 3. So r is less than or equal to 3 over 28. But we need to simplify all fractions. But that one is simplified because 3 doesn't go into 28. So we're done there. SQA National 5 Maths 2015 Paper 1 Question 2. Solve algebraic inequality. 11 minus 2 bracket 1 plus 3x is less than 39. So I expand my bracket. 11 minus 2 minus 6x is less than 39. I will do 11 minus 2 is 9, so that's minus 6x is less than 39. 9 is positive, so I can take it away. Minus 6x is less than 30. And now I'm dividing by a minus, so remember the rule, divide by a minus, it's a flipper. Greater than x. 30 divided by 6 is 5, but I'm divided by a minus, so it's minus 5, and I'm done there. Basically, National 5 Maths, 2017 Paper 1, Question 8. 
19 plus x is greater than 15 plus 3x minus 2. So I'll leave the 19 plus x alone. I'll leave that alone. Don't be tempted to do 15 plus 3 because I need to expand the bracket. 3x minus 6. I'll tidy that up. Plus 15 take away 6 is 9. And now you can move my x's to the same side. So I'll just move the smallest amount. Take away x for both sides. To leave 19 is greater than 9 plus 2x. Move the 9. So that's 10 is greater than 2x. So 5 is greater than x. Which would be a fine answer that a lot of you like to just flip it. If x is on the other side. Just change the sign to x is less than 5. And you're done there. But 5 is greater than x would be fine too. Let's go to 5 maths. So 18 paper 2 question 4. 3x is less than 6x minus 1 minus 12. 3x is less than 6x minus 6 minus 12. 3x is less than 6x minus 6 minus 12 is minus 18. Watch your negative numbers. So I need to get my x's on the same side. Well, I just might as well move the 6x to get minus 3x is less than minus 18. And then I'm dividing by a minus, so it's a flipper. Divided by minus 3, well, 3 goes in 18 six times. A minus divided by a minus is a plus, so I'm done there. Be National 5 Maths, 2021 paper 1 question 11. 1 minus x plus 4 is greater than 2x. Now, for this one, it's not obvious that I'm expanding the bracket, but if you ever see just a minus a bracket, just imagine there's a little 1 there, and you times it by minus 1. So it's 1 minus x, minus 1 plus 4 is minus 4, is greater than 2x. 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus x is greater than 2x. So I'll just move the x's to the same side, add x. So that means I've got 3x. I'm dividing by 3, not dividing by minus, so it's not a flipper. So minus 3 divided by 3 is minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than x is fine. Or if you prefer to write it the other way, you then flip it, x is less than minus 1. And we're done there. SQA, National 5 Maths, 2023, paper 1, question 14. Had this one. Solve algebraic of an equation x plus 1 over 3 minus 2 is greater than 3x plus 5. So this is one of the ones where I've got fractions everywhere. So I'm wanting to look at the smallest number that 3 and 5 go into, or the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, and that equals 15. So that's what I'm times and by on both sides. So looking at separate things, this is getting times by 15. This is getting times by 15 because that's a separate thing. And this is getting times by 15. So make sure you times everything by 15. If you prefer, you can put brackets around both sides and just expand like this. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. But I'm times by the whole of x plus 1, so I need a bracket. 15 times 2 is 30, so take away 30 is greater than 15 divided by 5 is 3. So it's 3 times 3 is 9x. Expand my bracket. 5x plus 5 minus 30 is greater than 9x. Move the x's to the same side. Well, I'll, I'll get rid of that first, actually. 5 minus 30 is minus 25. And now I can take away 5x to get 4x. And then divide by 4. It's not a flipper because I'm not dividing by a negative. Minus 25 over 4 is greater than x. But now you can flip it back the way you prefer. Minus 25 over 4. Just a note for the SQA as well, if you get an answer with a negative and it's on the bottom, just move it to the side or the top because it's deemed to be unsimplified otherwise. SQA National 5 Maths, 2024, Paper 2, Question 4. So I'll just wait for an equation. 5 bracket x minus 2 plus 4 is less than 7x plus 8. So last year's one wasn't as hard as you would think because there's no fractions. I'm just expanding a bracket. I'm expanding a bracket. I'm adding 4 is less than 7x plus 8. 5x minus 10 add 4 is minus 6. So you can move the 5x to the left or the right. I just use, usually move the smallest. So I'm moving the 5x. So I'm taking away 5x to give 2x. I'm taking away 8 now. Minus 6 minus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You need to watch your signs. Minus 14. And I'm not dividing by a negative. I'm just dividing by 2. So minus 7 is less than x, but you can leave it like that or just flip it at the end if you really prefer. x is greater than minus 7 or x minus 7 is less than x. As we clear maths today, we've done the whole of solving linear inequalities or inequations in National 5 Maths 
full pass paper, full teaching. Hopefully you found that useful. Like, subscribe, stay clear, stay safe, and goodbye.